So I've just picked up my Dermlite DL4 edition. Yes, I cannot wait to show you guys how this works and what we use it for. But not only that, because it's the end of year, there was an end of year special. And I also got free with this 25 ice caps, which are useful for hygiene purposes when you're using your Dermlite 4. I also got a phone adapter, which allows me to take pictures of any suspicious looking lesions on my phone directly. And not only that, but it also came with a free for pulse oximeter, which is really cute. I do have two of these already, but you know what? Why not? I love checking my oxygen saturations. Now it's time to head on home and I'm gonna unbox this baby in front of you guys and let you know exactly what we do as general practitioners to use this and what it's useful. Let's go. With alarming figures of one out of two Australians developing skin cancer at some point in their lives, it's vital that as a general practitioner, I'm able to identify and diagnose these lesions. And to do this, I use something called a dermoscope or a dermatoscope, depending on where you are in the world. This is essentially a piece of equipment that has a magnifying glass and a light attached on the end that allows for detailed analysis of the skin. So with me here, I've got the Dermite DL4. Let's take a look inside the box. So inside you get a lens wipe an instruction manual, some lens caps, and of course the piece de la resistance, the actual dermoscope itself, which comes with its own leather carry case, and of course that beautiful handheld device. With this additionally you get a USB charging cable which you can plug into your computer to charge it up on the go, and some disposable ice caps which are vital to prevent cross-contamination between patients, so you can place these on your dermoscope and then chuck them away as soon as you've used it for that patient. Now let's take a closer look at the dermoscope itself. As you can see, it is light, it's easy to use, it's portable. It has a 30 millimeter viewing lens. It also allows for 10 times magnification. This particular dermoscope allows you to toggle between polarized and non-polarized light. But what does that actually mean? Well, to understand this, polarized and non-polarized light essentially just means allowing us to look at the depth of a structure. When we're using a non-polarized light, it allows us to look at more superficial structures of the skin, for example, this dermo-epidermal junction. When we're using a polarized light, however, it allows us to look for more deeper structures of the skin, such as the dermo-epidermal junction and the superficial dermis. But what does that translate into? Well, when we use the polarized light, it allows us to look at blood vessels and pink color, increasing the sensitivity of picking up amelanotic melanomas and basal cell carcinomas. When we use a non-polarized light, it increases the specificity of identifying things like mini-like cysts, which are white, and also comedo-like openings, such as those that are seen in seborrheic keratosis. So being able to toggle between the both polarized and non-polarized light gives you that higher diagnostic capabilities. This particular dermoscope can be used on contact and off contact of skin. You can also use fluid immersion as well. It also on the side has a pigment boost button, which if you press on, allows the color to pop out of a pigment, allowing you to have that extra diagnostic capability. So there you have it, the Dermite DL4. It's light, it's easy to use, it gives polarized and non-polarized light, and it even allows for a 10 times magnification. And what's cooler than that is, da -da -da -da, this is no other than a smartphone case for the Dermlite DL4, which allows me to have a look with my smartphone and take pictures for uh, educational purposes or even just to put it onto the patient's files as well. And it's a magnet, so it goes on like this. And I can easily sync this up to my phone and take pictures of any lesions that I'm concerned about and then import them into the patient's files directly. Just a word of warning out there for you guys if you're considering having a skin check after watching this video. I've seen this myself in clinical practice, unfortunately, and I've also heard it from patients as well. There will be some doctors out there who will perform skin checks with just their eyes only. Now, unfortunately, as humans, we haven't yet developed that capability to actually have magnifying glasses in our eyes. So instead, we rely on technology such as a dermoscope or indeed a magnifying loop, which is essentially a headband with a magnifying glass on it. Now, I personally use both of those equipments because I need to examine the skin carefully, inch by inch, making sure that I'm not missing anything. Because obviously, if we just use our bare naked eyes, we may miss lesions. So make sure that you go to an appropriately qualified doctor to have your skin check. And in saying that, if you haven't had a skin check in the last year, please book in with your local doctor to have one. And of course, if you notice any lesions have changed, for example, in size, shape or colour, or if they're itching or bleeding, please seek medical help as soon as possible. I hope you found this video useful. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to drop me a line in the comment section below. But for now, take care and stay healthy. Just a bonus. So I actually got this Dermlite DL4 online and because it's the end of financial tax year, they actually threw in some extra goodies for me and they were 
a finger pulse oximeter, which I have two already, but you know, it's always good to have another one. But this is essential for checking oxygen saturations. For example, if you're worried about the patient having a lung infection or if they've got fluid overload, then this is really important to make sure that they're oxygenating their blood as well as they can be.